Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to talk a little bit about how you can achieve to get all of your set pieces for the end game. And uh, also we're going to talk a bit about the inventor because we're gonna use him to achieve this. So no further ado, let's start. So let's start to talk about what you need to unlock the inventor and everything that he can do. First of all, we need to find the apprentice. And you can find him at Burwich Village. Once down the cellar, you go over here, and here you find Darlet. Teleport home, and here he is, turning the quest, and now you can use the inventor. For starters, we can only salvage, you can keep the item, keep your add-ons, like this one, if you have it on your gear. And you can also remove augments. But more about that later in the video. Next one, dismantle. So, for the next step, how do we unlock the dismantle? So, first of all, you need to get respected with Homestead. Uh, to unlock this quest. The quest is called Dangerous Curiosity and you will unlock it after you are re repairing the bridge, this bridge over here. Uh, and uh, it will be av available only on Elite or in Ultimate difficulty. And uh, once you get it, you can grab it from uh, this guy. And all you need is just three dynamite. Turn it in. And we now have unlocked the dismantle. And for the last part, and also the most exciting part, the transmute. To unlock this, we need to go to the desert. And we need to do a quest called the Tomb of Inatum. Let's teleport to Sunbane Oasis. And from here, we'll go down here. And down here you can find his corpse. And you saw there he dropped the tomb of Enectum. Teleport back to the city, in the desert city. Turn it into Corgon. And it should now be unlocked. And there we go. We can now use the transmute. 
So, now when you have unlocked everything, let's go through what you can do with it. So, using the salvage is used to separate components from the item. Uh, the player can choose to keep either the item or the added component. So for this example we have put the purified salt. So we can choose to either keep the item or keep the add-on if you'd like to. If you recover the item the component will be lost and vice versa. And then a different component can be applied if you want to. Augments can also be removed without destroying the item down here. But if you just do this one and keep the item, the augment will be removed as well. So for dismantle, you can put any item in here and you can put a magic quality or better in the dismantle and it will break it down into basic parts, converting the item to valuable scraps and different components. And the more powerful the item, the more powerful the components will be generated. And this process also requires some dynamite. So I would only recommend using this for, let's say, when you got uh, uh, for example this legendary is a 94 legendary if you get a dupe of this one you can just dismantle it for a chance of some good components and now for the transmute first you can transmute a set piece into another part of the same set and this will cost you one eldritch essence three ether crystals and one polished emerald and also 120k uh, coins. The other one uh, is that you can transmute a set piece into a part of another random set of a comparable level. And this means uh, if you got, for example, this belt, it's for level 94. Then if you use this one, you will get another piece in 94 range. This one costs one Celestial Lotus, three Ether Crystals, and one Polish Emerald, and as well 150k gold. And we go for this one just to demonstrate. Boom. Whoa, new illusion. Sweet. Another piece of the same set. So now I will show you how you can go and get your full set so when you're playing you will unlock a lot of helm recipes and once you get one that you want so let's take this one for example you could technically just buy or craft four of this helm and you can put the other three in the transmute and transmute them to another set piece. Uh, but it is RNG of course, so it might take some more tries. But it is possible to get your full piece with this method. So if you are unlucky as me, you could go out and just farm all the materials and craft your set instead. Well, yeah. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something from this. Like the video if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel for more. Comment down below how long it usually takes for you to get all of your set pieces. But until next time, bye!